The original shirt of my Coca-Cola costume had seen better days. The fabric was fragile and very worn at the cuffs. I also wanted to make a shirt that would be more historical in its shape and details. However, as the original shirt fit me quite well, I could use it to help me to make the pattern. Taking patterns from old garments is fairly easy, especially if the garment can be laid flat like this one. To take the pattern, I traced around the shirt bodies. The bodice is only one piece with no shoulder seams, and the pattern is a simple rectangle. The armpit gusset is a 5x5 cm square. The sleeve narrows down toward the cuff slightly, and the excess width is then scattered into the cuff. This shirt has a snap at the collar and at the cuffs, but I will be adding proper mother of pearl buttons for my shirt. My fabric is the same cotton linen blend I used for my apron. All the seams are simple felt seams. I sew them with a running back stitch that is sturdy and quick to make. The square gusset at the armpit adds to the movement and protects the fabric from ripping. Before sewing the sleeves into tubes, I need to make the slits at the seam. I made very narrow hems and sewed them in place. To make a felt seam, you'll trim one of the seam allowances to about 3 mm and then fold the other seam allowance over and under, sewing that in place. It takes time, but it makes seams neat and strong. However, be careful when you trim your seam allowances. I accidentally trimmed out both seam allowances at this one spot and had to fix it by sewing one of the resulting strips back. I decided to make the neckline narrower than the original. That's why I originally cut a very small hole at the neckline area. Now I'm cutting out the front slit carefully following the grain of the fabric. To determine the correct size and position of the neckline, I'm using my dress form.
By folding the neckline in half along the center front and center back lines, I made sure that my neckline was symmetric before cutting it. My original front slit was a bit too short, so I cut it a bit larger. Then I was able to hem it. The narrow hem is sewn just like with the sleeve slits. However, as the neckline is prone to stretching, it needs strengthening at the bottom of the slit. I did this by sewing around the bottom using blanket stitch and adding a thread bar over the bottom of the slit. Pretty, isn't it? Unfortunately, I then realized that I had sewn the sleeve to the wrong side of my shirt. There was no other way than to rip out the slit and redo it. The color for most folk shirts in Finland is made out of simple rectangle. Here I'm adding the color. The cuffs can now be added. I gathered the excess sleeve fabric to the cuff by hand. To keep the gathers very neat, I first stroked the gathers with a needle and then sewed the gathered edge to the cuff the same way one would treat a cartridge split. So, last night I finished making the cuffs for my shirt and now I'm lacking only the lower parts. So what I did was I made a pattern for the lower parts of this shirt. I made sure that it's a bit wider than my hips and the hip area and that it reaches to my knee. My plan is to sew this as a skirt and then attach it to the upper part. Historically, the shirts women wore were long and reached all the way to the knees. However, one didn't use the nice white linens and cottons for those lower parts that didn't show. Any cheap fabric would do. Keeping to the tradition, I went and bought an old linen and cotton tablecloth from the recycling center and used it to cut the lower portion of my shirt. The last thing to add are the buttons and the thread loops for them. Here's the finished shirt. I also made a simple linen petticoat that I unfortunately didn't film. However, it is just a rectangular piece of fabric gathered into the waistband. The only thing that makes it a bit different is a big hidden pocket I added. As my pinafore dress has a slit at the front, I can reach the pocket easily through the slit and thus have my phone, keys and money where I can keep them safe.
The only thing missing from my costume now is the cap. Unfortunately, the COVID situation has prevented me from making one, so for now I'll have to leave this costume project and come back to it later. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video and subscribe to help me grow this channel. See you soon. Bye!